I'm Surinda Swan and I am an activist and an actor. Um, some of the causes that are the closest to my heart uh, is education for youth, women empowerment. The best part of being an actor, well, the reason why I became an actor was for the free food, basically. <laughs> I was two years old, I was on set, and my parents were like very, very vegetarian. And so, and very healthy, so if I wanted something sweet, it was like sugar cane, or if I wanted some chocolate, it was carob. And if you don't know what that is, that's fine, you shouldn't know what it is. It's the worst chocolate substitute ever. And so I went to set one day, and there is tables, and I'm not sure if you guys know this, but there are tables of candy and gum and like all the best food you could possibly want. I remember walking up to it and going, I don't know what this job is, but I'm gonna do this. This is the job that I want. So basically, I, I based my entire career due to the proximity of free candy. Um, that would be why I loved acting as a child. And I think as an adult, it allows me to express the sort of artist and storytelling that I love so much. I get to play different characters. I get to bring to life people that aren't me. I get to experience what it's like to be in somebody else's shoes. I uh, just recently did a Marvel project where they shaved my head. That's why my hair is growing back. Um, it was done on camera, so I didn't really get to see it. And I was like, oh, okay, here we go. Um, but, but I like Marvel for that because they definitely push the boundaries and I play a superhero, so. Um, everything was like slightly heightened, but she was this empowered woman. She is uh, the queen of uh, one of these, she lives on the moon basically, she's the queen of the moon. Her husband is mute, and so she speaks for both the king and the queen. So it's this beautiful like empowered moment for a female on screen. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be tons of fun. It was, a, it was a really fun project to work on, and we shot it in Hawaii, which wasn't too bad. Um, so I'm getting, starting to get like the warm breeze in the water. I'm like, oh, take me back. Oh, no, wait, I'm going to Guatemala. Let me stay here. <laughs>